I'm going to show you how to create this inked embossed layering piece. To begin with this project, we're going to peel off the protective blue backing from one of our Imagine Crafts sheet metal pieces. This is in the ATC size. Next, I'm going to put down my base layer color, which in this case is going to be our stays on cactus green and using an ink blusher. I'm just going to start picking up the color and I'm going to add this directly onto the metal. The reason why you don't want to put the pad directly onto the metal is you may end up putting too much ink on here, which can cause kind of sticky spots or tacky areas on your metal. And because Stazon is a solvent ink, I'm going to let this dry, air dry for three to five minutes. Now that my piece of sheet metal is dry, I'm going to use our glaze on layer protectant. And what this is going to do is keep the colors of the Stazon ink separate so that we can really layer up the colors. As you can see, I don't have very much on this ink blusher and you want to make sure that you only use one ink blusher for your glaze on. You don't want to mix them up and transfer the glaze on onto your stays on pad. As you can see, I'm just using this as a brush. So now I can start adding on my next layer of color, which is going to be our stays on in the teal blue. And if you happen to get any little kind of ghosty spots, like I did right here, don't worry about that because you're going to be covering that up with ink. So now with my stays on teal blue, I'm just going to spot add some color on here. And I'm not trying to cover the entire surface. I'm just adding some highlight with this. And again, I'm going to let this dry completely before I put on my next layer of glaze on. I'm going to pick up some of our stays on in the azure blue. And again, I'm just going to spot add this color on here just for a little bit of a highlight. Excellent. Now I'm just going to let this air dry as well. And again, I've applied my protective layer of glaze on onto here. And I always kind of joke and say that it's like the Karate Kid stays on glaze on stays on glaze on. They always go together. Now I'm going to add my last highlight color, which is stays on in the midnight blue. And again, because this color is so intense, I'm just going to add some little spots. I'm going to add a little bit more around the edges. Now, as you guessed, we're going to let this dry completely. And then we're going to add our glaze on protectant layer on here. Now that this is completely dried, we're going to do the fun part and do the embossing to get the letters on here. And what I'm using today is one of Spellbinder's embossability folders. And this one has the alphabet print on it. And you want to make sure when you put these in that you put the metal piece down so that you get the actual embossing on the right side that you've just spent all this time coloring with. So in this case, I'm going to look for the side that has the debossed portion up here at the top. And this has the raised portion down here on the bottom. That means that it's going to push the letters up inside to the metal. So I'm going to lay my metal piece on there. Now, just in case you might have any tacky or wet spots left on here, I like to lay a piece of wax paper down and that's going to protect your, all your hard coloring work that you've done on here. Now for layering this to run this through my grand caliber machine, I'm going to use my base plate. Then I'm going to put my embossabilities folder in here and I'm going to top that with my raspberry adapter plate. This is going to give us really good embossing going through the machine. Now, as you can see, I've got my letters all embossed in here. And you can also tell that our sheet metal went through the grand caliber perfectly with no problems at all with great embossing. So now, even though this looks pretty cool like this to get my silver metal showing through here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sanding block and I'm just going to lightly begin sanding across the top. As you can see, I'm starting to pick up my letters here and I'm just going to continue sanding until I get the desired effect. If you need to have a little touch up, you can always use a blender pen or you can use an ink blusher with a little bit of stays on clean all purpose cleaner on there to pick that up.
And once you finish sanding this, you're going to have your completed and perfect metal piece for an embellishment or even as a book cover for your next project.